Remember those days where people would sing the Halo theme in public bathrooms and just listen to the choir, the echoes that would come off the hallways? Yeah, you could thank uh, Mr. Michael Salvatore and Martin O'Donnell for that theme because these were the people who composed that iconic soundtrack that we still cherish to this day. Now, the reason why I mention that is one of these two is running for Congress, and that would be Old Marty. Now, there's nothing wrong with running for a government position, I guess. It's just going from Halo video game composer to politician is um it's a pretty big leap one might say and it's not just that it's just the whole demeanor uh this guy is pulling off is immaculate if that's the word i could use here his um tweets are like kind of using halo like constantly to like gas himself up it's uh pretty strange. Even stranger is that someone in the comment section is pretending to be Michael Salvatore, the other guy who composed the theme, just constantly trash talking him in the comment section. So it's already off to a good start, the bizarreness of all this. But then you go to Marty's uh, Twitter where it just seems like, it, it, this is the thing that happens whenever you're running for a political party or political position and you could see this even in high school when people are running for student council president or something is um they start to make some personas you know and i'm not talking about the ones where you shoot yourself in the head personas i'm talking about like uh, a fake mask to try and lure you in and make you hear what you want to hear just so they could get your vote and that always seems stingy to me or I mean, fake is the best word you could use for it, but like, it's just the guy's Twitter posts are just constantly like, eh, first off, it's like constantly trying to use the Halo stuff to be hip and cool and like, hey, remember, I'm the guy who made the Halo theme. But then it just uh, devolves into other strange things like, uh, yeah, something I like taking with me feels better than Googling. Like, that's great. Uh, but it's hard to tell if that's really something you do or something you just posted to make it look like you do this all the time. And I think that's a problem with politicians in general. I don't really trust these guys. Um, like, there's, I can't even think of one off the top of my head that I could actually say, yeah, that's a trustworthy politician because most of them are just professional con artists. They say what they want to say, get their position, and then they do nothing until the voting year comes and then they'll start like pretending like, yeah, I'll do this, I'll do that. Nothing changes. They just sit in office, probably play mobile games. It's just a position to get more money for themselves. That's all it is really. Besides that, Marty has this website for voting for him, trying to get him into Congress. Clicking on it makes you think that you're about to subscribe yourself to go to a trip to Mars or something because I have no idea what I'm looking at here. It's just all space themed because again, he's trying to tap into that halo market, uh, kind of rub it in your face that, yep, I uh, made that trip track and this is where i would say dislocate yourself the artist and the art from one another um sort of like jk rowling and harry potter because we're about to go for a ride so first off join marty's army uh i from the get-go anyone who calls their followers an army is a bit weird and i say that as a someone who grew up calling himself a part of the bro army for PewDiePie. So yeah, uh, it's still weird to me. Weird, weird, weird. And then there's other links about Marty. He just goes on about all his time. He made the Flintstone kids and Mr. Clean jingles. I, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even know there was a Flintstone kids show. Yeah, why? That, that's like having the family guy as kids. I'm surprised they haven't even done that though. And here he talks about how much he put into th making the soundtracks for Halo and Destiny. And yeah, I, I agree. Halo's soundtrack in particular is up there with the best video game soundtracks of all time. Uh, but I would say that when he says here, he retires, 
and now he's um, trying to look to bring sanity back to Congress, something I don't think will ever be possible. Uh, if anything, I feel like we need young blood, not more old people, no offense. It's just, it's not working, but that's my own little uh, belief. I feel like once you are past 60, you shouldn't really be leading office, let alone driving, but um, we're still here, huh? We're, we're still doing things like this. Also, like whenever you click like start donating, these numbers will look weird to most people. Like what does, why is it like this? Um, they're for like matching Halo, you know, it's based on Halo. Again, it's always based on Halo, 343117. All these are like Halo based, like 343 should be the biggest because the, um, the industries that made Halo 4 and whatnot was 343 industries. But yeah, it's it's constantly tapping into that. Like, hey, remember Halo, Halo, Halo. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. <laughs> And we don't stop here. It gets to a point where his Discord, uh, and yes, he has his own Discord server for his people to just join in and start talking about certain topics. And <laughs> I uh, found something interesting about there is that um, they're discussing how slavery should maybe be legalized. I. I, I, I double checked it, I triple checked it to make sure that's not what I'm reading, but nope, they, they definitely are talking about legalizing slavery and um, who boy, it's, uh, uh, I, I, I haven't checked in a while, hopefully this has been taken down, but if it hasn't, it just shows that old Marty is okay with these kind of um, opinions and that's not a good thing to be wearing when you go to the voting polls at least um not the crowd that you want you know joining you what i find sad is though that this person who seems pretty sane and i don't know how they stumbled here i just think owning slaves is bad and the the amazing rebuttal is <laughs> i think seven year maximum debt slavery is a lot more ethical and fair than 20 plus year long student loan debt I, I genuinely don't know how to even dissect this. Like, I, I, I hope, I hope that Marty saw this and kicked this person out. Uh, but like, how? How do you go about this? How, what makes you think slavery in any capacity is a good thing? That if I took a student loan debt, that somehow I should be an actual slave to the ones I loan from if I can't pay them back. It's, it's just... Sometimes I wonder, like, what is happening on this planet? What kind of people are forming ideas? Because... These are some pretty bad ones, uh, and that's and that's an understatement. Bad. This is just well, phenomenally worse. And people say Fortnite was the biggest disgrace for Master Chief and the Halo franchise, but here we are in this day and age with this happening. Oh boy. Oh boy. At this point, I might actually just put a needler to my eyes because. Some of these things that I read on his tweets and his Discord servers is, it warrants, warrants needlers to the eyes. Maybe a Spartan laser while I'm at it. Oh, I'm making hell references. Why don't you guys vote for me in Congress? I don't know, man. Everyone thinks they have a podium to speak on and it's great to have your opinions out there. It's just, maybe, maybe you should retire. Stay retired, enjoy time with the family. You don't need to run for Congress. Congress is not going to be fixed by the Halo video game composer. That's for sure. You're not going to throw a sticky grenade and get rid of the entire nation's debt. It's it's not going to work like that, buddy. Uh, and, and the thing is, I've looked through his backgrounds. He doesn't have any backgrounds in politics. So, I mean, that hasn't stopped other people before. But, like, I, I feel like we should get more people with experience 
Who am I kidding? At this point, every gov government around the world is being run by insane monkeys. But yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, you're free to do whatever you want. I won't uh, put a sign down saying, hey, no Marty is running for Congress. If he wants to do it, sure. It's just pretty weird. Um, and it's getting weirder the more I look into it. And uh, well, if he does win, uh, if he wears the Master Chief uh, helmet when he gets, you know, inaugurated, uh, yeah, I, I think it makes all of this worth it. Yeah, sure, great. Let's go with that. Fine, perfect. I I've gone nuts and uh, the world has gone nuts as well. So let's just keep going nuts. See how many nuts we could collect before we nut out. <laughs> I'm done. That's all there is.